Uh, we'll keep the Needle Rock Totem because we like the draw. Honestly, might just coin it out. And then play another one. No, this is great. This is actually a really solid situation to be in. I can't believe that was literally the most unlucky I could have been. I played four lightning reflexes and I got a total of one lightning bolt in terms of damage spells. That, I am flabbergasted by that, by the way. Flabbergasted. Wow. I, I've completely lost my mind. I, I should not have lost. I was so close to winning. I was so close. Blade storm that? Uh, I'll just play another one. I'd rather play this in a little bit to see if I can find a spell that I can actually play. Hi, Ikor. Hi, chat. Ikor, what do you think about Inza in this kind of shaman? Saw someone playing Inza. I just think Inza's too slow. Like, you play on turn five and it's cool. Don't get damage to kill the totem, please. He's going to get the plus two, plus two. Oh, it's coins. I get to get another card. That's pretty nice. It's Miracle Salesman plus this. I don't necessarily want to play the Cactus Cutter quite yet. It's not really necessary, I don't think. We draw another card, we get another Miracle Salesman. That's fine. Needle Rock is such a sick card. It's so strong. Arguably broken. <laughs> not even arguably broken. It is just broken. I had a mental breakdown, though. <laughs> not drawing any of the good cards. That was insane. Trade, see what we get first. We get Photographer Fizzle. I'm trying to think about when I want to fizzle. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, too. Um, Rab. Thank you, thank you, thank you, much appreciated. I think this is a fizzleable hand. There. We've got one spell damage, dude. Bad. Do I want to play the cactus first or second? It's fair. He protects his minion. He deals three damage, deals three damage. That makes sense. I think I just trade these and I just try to look for good cards. Uh, do I just play the weapon to get it out there? No flash of lightning thus far is not very good. Crash of Thunder is solid. I'm going to play this, but then I don't attack with it, I think. And then I just pass. I don't think they run Restaurant Viper. I take a lot of damage for this, but I'll just heal with this. Generate an extra resource. See what I can do. Really would like to find a Flash of Lightning. If I could find it, I could potentially threaten lethal next uh, turn. Alright, well that sucks, but it's not the worst thing in the world. We still have Fizzle. Armor, I mean, I know I've seen the stack do 50 plus damage in a single turn, so I don't think that this is necessarily over quite yet. I guess I'll play Fizzle just to get something out on the board. Double Crash. Uh, this is very good then, actually. And then I'll discover the card. I don't have that much spell damage in my hand, but I think it's okay. Should I have played this to draw cards instead? Because these cards weren't very good. I mean, healing eight more is not bad. I'll take chill vibes. Heals me up potentially. We can play this in this next turn and just and just play it out kind of slow. But I need to find a flash of lightning. And if I do, I can do a lot of damage. It's just a matter of finding the card. But I think we should be able to get there. Ooh, that's, that's pretty spicy. I'm going to be honest. That is a spicy play. I respect it. Do you have this in a bigger size? I should have drawn cards instead, I think. He hits that. Okay. Blow Rider. Draw two. We got Flash of Lightning. That's huge, actually. That's massive. That's exactly what we wanted. Is it worth it to try to commit next turn, then?
We got extra spell damage, which is big. So I'm trying to think if I play this now. No, everything will be relatively cheap. Let's just give myself a little taunt minion and pass. So you can try to commit next turn. It should be able to do a lot of damage. They need to make another skin or something akin to steam cleaner, but nothing is strong. I would like to see that. I think plagues are a problem for sure. Stop playing the spell. You don't need the buff. I mean, I know it's not about the buff. But like, was my hand not fairly full? I don't know. Let's get one. Play that, see what we get first. I'd rather take a lightning bolt, I think. Would I would have liked Flash of Lightning, but it's okay in the end. Let's see what this gives me first. I guess this is playable. This is playable. It can discover me another thing. We can go crash. We can find another lightning. It's not bad. Mmm, sure. Ah, that's so cringe, actually. Are you serious? It does five damage twice. And then, I guess I'll just overdraft, play this to discover a spell. Dude, how have I discovered zero damage spells like this whole game? I discovered zero damage spells. Literally, I got, the only one I discovered was the lightning bolt in my deck. You're kidding. Did they, like, take Lightning Bolt and Crash of Thunder out of the pool? Is there something I'm missing? Because, like, there could be, and if there is, I would like to know. But, like, what the flying fuck just happened? Eight, I guess. Discover a spell is fine. I guess I should have totem first to see. Okay, we'll take lightning reflexes. We're not gonna play it this turn, but it could be good. Am I tr am I messing something up? Like, am I messing the combo up in some way? Is lightning reflexes not very often gonna give you lightning bolt, pop up book, or crash of thunder? Because like I'm also not able to discover other cards. Like, that's- it's very important, actually. Sanitize. I mean, if we get Fizzle Snapshot, it's still winnable. Um, drawing Overload cards draws me one card. But I guess I'd rather draw it than not draw it. I'm just trying to thin the deck out. If I can find Fizzle Snapshot, it's still winnable. We can combo off again. I'm not like about to die or anything, so that's okay. We're gonna have full mana as well, so it, it, it's pop offable for sure. I hate shutting down Reno's because uh, I love playing Warrior. Well, that's a little bit weird. Igor is the LeBron James of League of Legends. Prove me wrong. I'm definitely not the LeBron James of League of Legends. I don't think I'm the LeBron James of anything. Good luck in your games. I appreciate it. How does this deck fare against Demon Hunter? I think it's actually not the worst. Give me Fizzle, please. Okay, thank God. Can I win with this? It gives me eight cards. 
I could wait a turn, maybe? One, two, three, four, yikes. I think I do have to wait a turn to have more mana. So let's just do this. Probably play maybe one pop-up book just to make sure I don't die or something. Mm. Dehydrate can kill off a four. And then we'll pop off next turn, I guess. It's not that bad. I don't think I had lethal there. I guess it's possible I did. One, two, three, four. We'll see what happens. Um, don't want to take Jive. It's too expensive and it's overdraw. But this, this kills off a minion. So I think this is just good. I keep forgetting the spell damage totem exists now, but I, I think I can combo off next turn and win with double novice zappers. I don't even really need Thalnos either. One, two, three, four, five, six. No matter the danger, I've still got four mana left. It's doable for sure. It's doable for sure. Opponent draws a TNT. I would be so sad. We drew a flash of lightning. Mm, that makes it guaranteed. But if he draws a flash of lightning, I lose. I mean, this will each do five damage. I just need to discover like a lightning bolt. You're kidding me. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Why was that so hard? Okay, well, are we just gonna lose because of this then? The game actually just like doesn't want me to win. It actively wants me to lose, which is pissing me off. Dude, I literally have exact lethal. That's crazy. Thank goodness, dude. Oh, I have to attack face. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. This deck is stressful. My god. I had to draw through my entire deck just to win. Another Demon Hunter. Honestly, I think we're getting better with the Demon Hunter matchup. We just have to really keep specifically only combo cards. Only combo cards. It's all that matters. This card's really good. This card's gone. This card is the setup that I need. Like, you absolutely need that card to set up in order to pop off on turn five, I want to say. Lightning Reflexes is very good. No mir Miracle Salesman. And no Needle Rock Totem is a little bit rough, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going crazy already. Oh, God. Throw me a card, though. You got Crash of Thunder. I'm trying to think. Maybe I play this on turn three. And then I, I have to commit on turn three. But I don't have to like hard commit on turn three. It's mostly just to wipe his board and to kill some of his minions. Uh, I can play an elixir and then next turn it's elixir plus flash of lightning and then turn five we go kind of nuts. No, that's actually really, really good. No, that actually, that can stall out for at least another turn. We play this on four, this, this on five, and it gives us one more turn to draw something, potentially. I guess he plays the weapon this turn, so maybe it's not that good. But it does still heal me a decent amount, right? Because next turn, he's forced to play the demon. I heal up a de double flash of lightning is kind of crazy though. Is it ever just double flash of lightning and hope to commit next turn? Or is it this plus this? And then if we don't hit something good, we play this and then another one? Oh man, it's going to be close actually. Because he's able to put one more mini note on the board. Which is actually really, really, really beneficial or really impactful because it's going to be a 6-5 and the 6-5 probably lives. But I think it's this, this turn 4 and then this, this turn 5 because this will cost one less. And then hopefully in that time we'll draw something good. So let's see what we get off of this first. I don't like any of these cards. Does this have a type? No. Do any of my things have types? It doesn't look like it. That's a Naga. 
I don't really think that does anything though. Jam session could do one damage to things on the board though, so it's fine. Lightning bolt's potentially good. But then it'll be this for four and then this for one. He plays a 6-5, and then he plays a 1-1, one, one, and it probably lives. That toy was made just That's fine. The 6-5 will probably live, but I will heal 10 next turn. And then if I draw a Flow Rider, then that means I'm able to... discover a card because I'll already be overloaded, and I can start the turn with that. Oh, okay. Two minions are going to live now. Probably. Or this will live with 2 HP, which is both not great um that's fine though we'll see what happens first if the six five somehow by some miracle dies okay it doesn't do i ever not play flash of lightning this turn and wait one more turn i take six damage i've got lightning bolt and a lightning reflexes I don't think I can commit it this turn. I think I have to wait. But if he hasn't, if he discovered an Illidari Inquisitor, I die in two turns anyway. I think I have to play Flash of Lightning and hope I hit the nuts on Lightning Reflexes. Okay, that's actually quite good. This could potentially get me another Lightning Reflexes. He got the Illidari Inquisitor like I said he was gonna get because they always get it. They're gonna do a lot of damage to me. So it's got to be lightning reflexes first just to see what I get because if I don't high roll I've already got to like another crash hold on I'll take that it's fine because it does get to discover me a new card and it's another crash of thunder which is more damage than this Go with the flow. is that lethal I honestly don't know, and I don't think that I can- I'm off by one, are you kidding? I'm literally off by one damage, that's so cringe. Oh no! If I had taken overdraft, would I have won? Because I'm overloaded this much, or am I off by six damage? Okay, that feels less bad. That feels significantly less bad. That feels significantly less bad, but it's not great. If I take an overdraft instead of, no, cause I needed it to be cheaper. Oh, oh no. It wasn't Mag Theradon though, so I'm happy about it. Sure. So we got two hunter secrets. Okay. Don't kill it. Oh. Oh man, this deck is so stressful. <laughs> You're under the wrong game. Wait, am I really? I thought I changed it to Hearthstone. Oh, I guess I didn't save on, on Twitch, my bad. I thought I pressed the save button. I apologize. Time grows short. Okay, no, please don't fucking kill that too. There's no way, there's no way you kill that too. I'm losing it. I'm trying to think if there's ever a world where if just not hitting is correct. Oh shit! Thank you so much for the sub, Rockla. Thank you, thank you, thank you, much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. That's fine, it was Ice Trap. It doesn't really matter. We'll play this, draw a card. And I don't actually even want to hit anything because if it's Bait and Switch, I'm wrecked. If it's Explosive Trap, I'm wrecked. <sighs> Everything sucks, man. Every option sucks. It was Rat Trap, damn. I mean, I got jabated, I guess. Not really much I can do about it. How much damage can I do next turn? If I play this and I draw all my overload cards, can I win? Wait. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you much appreciated. Is this 
Okay. I mean, we play you. Oh my gosh, okay, it's fine. I take six damage, but I'll heal six next turn, so it's fine. I mean, that's a good amount of damage, but I am alive here. And I think I think I need to go for the deal six, heal six. Or else I'm gonna just take too much damage. So I play you first. Then I play this. Then I play this on this minion because it's the one that can attack. And then I'm overloaded one, which means I can play you. And what do I even want at this point? I guess probably ancestral knowledge is better. You'll be at six HP. I think Lightning Bolt just isn't quite enough, to be honest. I think just Lightning Bolt isn't enough, because if he has some sort of Rush or, or Taunt Heal minion, this is bad. But this will probably draw me damage also. Yeah, I mean, that could discover him something insane. If he bounces it back... Ah, maybe I should have just gone Lightning Bolt. I mean, in my head, I'm able to just get Lightning Bolt off of this again immediately regardless, right? Fuck! Yo, man! Oh. There are a lot of different cards that win me the game. That is one of them. Double time. Okay, freezing's fine. That means you get to connect face. It's not even the other one. We just lightning bolt him. Interesting. I'm supposed to lose this. I wonder what deck they're going. Mm, I mean, I like having lightning reflexes. If I can draw a couple of spell damage cards and uh, flash of lightning, could go crazy. I might coin this out on turn five to draw as many cards as possible. We'll see though. We drew a flash of lightning. That is very promising. Draw me a card. Crash of Thunder. Very, very good. I've hard or low rolled like every game so far with this deck. It's insane. Like chat, feel that, feel that, just just so people don't think I'm just complaining. In chat, back me up here so they can see it on the right hand side. Like it's been insane. <laughs> I don't think I really care about this board right now. I'll probably just play this next turn. Let's just totem play this next turn. Play it slow. I don't feel that pressured by the druid right now. I don't know exactly what kind of damage they're trying to go for. What? In the whoa. Okay. So. Respectfully. Huh? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Discover is not good. Conductivity is not the greatest. This is okay, because it can generate me some spells, maybe. Um, do I have to commit next turn? The answer is no. I could possibly commit the turn after that, and I could play this next turn. I don't think... I'm going to play Flash of Lightning next turn, and try to commit the turn after that. Fill the skies with a cascade of soft. Oh, they're just going to ignore my totem? That's fair. That makes sense to me. I don't think I'm dead. Oh god, that is a lot of damage though. Oh, we drew an ambitious elixir. That's pretty nice. Thank you very much for that. I will play Flash of Lightning. We got another Novice Zapper, and I actually think it's okay to overdraw here. Because like, what do I coin out? I could coin Totem, but is the coin more worth it for the combo? I'll have one, two... I don't think so. I think I think I'd rather potentially draw more damage. So I'll just I'll just coin that out and then I'll play all of these things next turn. Oh, I mean this is dead for sure, but it acts as a soft taunt. I'm not dead. I could potentially combo next turn. I wonder what they're gonna go though. Lark Hellscream makes this deck look easy. I mean, yeah. But like again, if you go back and actually look at what happened in my last couple of games, you will see. <laughs> that the amount of unluck is insane. Thank you for the five gift memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you, much appreciated. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna go boom, and then we're gonna go shit. Technically, I should have done this first. <sighs> eh, it can discover me something, I guess. Come on. I mean... Kills that, I guess. This gets me two cards. Lightning Bolt is nice. Can I commit now? I mean, we'll just do this, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we'll do one crash. Just so that way I can kill this off. I guess we can do pop-up book because it kills it and puts out some taunt minions and we'll just wait until next turn because that was a complete and total failure. But like, if you look at that, I played two of them and I discovered one, like I discovered one damage spell ultimately, which is just so little, I think. I guess I could be wrong, but I just, I thought that I would get more. We'll deal three, heal three. We'll do this to basically empty some space in my hand. Uh, this would kill that off. I'm okay with that. Feel that healing deal three, heal six, kill that off. Maybe we can activate him again next turn. I don't know. I'm just showing in what deck, uh, what's the overall goal of the OTK? Spell damage, it's nature spell damage. Oh God. All right, fair enough. Nope, that's fair. It's fair, 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 fair is fair. I draw overloaded cards or I draw overload cards. How many overload cards do I have in my deck now? I've got one. I have one. Low Rider's decent. I'll play this. I'll go Flash of Lightning. I'll overdraw if I can draw Flash of Lightning. Is that even good enough? I don't actually even know if that's fucking good enough. But I'm gonna have to try. It's gonna have to be good enough. I'll overdraw a card, but... I'll overdraw a card, but it has to be good enough here. I'll play Taunt Minions, actually. I just don't want to get hit in the face for seven damage. It could potentially give him lethal, so it also makes me so that I don't overdraw. 45 damage, is that doable? Yikes, okay. And I guess you trade into that anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, sure. You're the guy from the Rarn video? Yes, sir, it's me, the one and only. Oh boy, don't know how to play Nature Shaman. What are you talking about? It's not that I don't know how to play it, it's just that I'm getting offered dog shit. No? Like, I can't combo off with Lightning Reflexes if I don't get a good Lightning Reflexes card. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 damage. I barely break through his armor, so I play Fizzle. And then I commit to the play after that anyway. Because I have Fizzle, it's fine. Because I'll get it all back regardless. It doesn't matter. I was supposed to draw first. It's okay, it doesn't matter. We'll play the totem. It'll give me armor. I'll draw. I probably should have played that first. Overdraft is actually very good. I can play this and then this. Like, I don't, I mean, if, if you're telling me I'm playing bad, if you would like to tell me what I did wrong on those turns, I would love to learn what I did wrong. It's just like when I watch other people play lightning reflexes, they just go absolutely bonkers crazy and kill everything. That's a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. I'd rather just get rid of my overloaded mana crystals and draw. It's good chunk damage, it's fine. 
Uh, boom. Fizzle snapshot's pretty good. Um, we're not, we don't need to necessarily play anything here. But we'll have a, uh, another full set of stuff to do next turn unless I die. I will overdraw a card if he kills this, though. So is it worth it to just gain armor here? I'll gain some armor, it's fine. I guess I should have hit. Even though I didn't have spell damage, I passed up on a damage. That was kind of silly. But I've got at least, like, another 25 damage. It's gonna be full cost, but it's fine. I'll also have a little bit more damage with this for free, which is fine. Deck is annoying, but it needs to be a rogue deck. There are a lot of easy counters, like the 2-4 that makes their increases spell cost or armor from Druid Major Warrior. I mean, let's be real. This guy just gained how much armor this game, and he's still gonna lose. Like, this guy legitimately gained about 30 armor, and he still loses this game every time, no? I mean, he's still already lost. We'll play this. Technically, I should have done it earlier, but it doesn't really matter. And then we still had this plus this. Like, we still had plenty of damage. This guy gained 30 plus armor and still lost. Good one drop. I feel like I want to keep this card. But it's mulligan win rate's pretty low, actually, which is surprising to me. So do I get rid of it? Because this card's great, but the mulligan win rate's also low, but it's kept a lot. Oh, I'll keep Flash of Lightning. It's like the main setup. Excuse me. It's one of your main setup cards. So I guess I could be wrong about it. Nice haircut. I. It's not a haircut. I just, I. it is a mess. I, maybe you meant that sarcastically. <laughs> Put food in a pan, heat until the color says it's edible, wait, and then eat. That's how you cook? Fair enough. Fair enough. Blow Rider's interesting. I want to play this and this on the same turn, turn three, so I don't know what to do turn two. I guess I could just discover a spell. I don't think I need healing that much in this matchup, so let's see if we can discover anything actually good. We don't. This could be a decent card just on turn seven to apply some pressure. Because again, I don't really need healing or removal against Warrior. So, I'll take it. It could be something I play on turn seven, I guess. I guess I could have taken the Excavate and then hoped that I got Rock because Rock would help with spell damage, but the odds of that are so low, I don't think it's very good. I'd rather just play this on seven, apply some pressure, force him to remove it next turn, and then I could go off the turn after that, maybe. I don't know, but I want to play this and this on the same turn, ideally. So that way I can get the use out of the overload immediately. Why don't you play the Ragnaros style, which guarantees you 30 plus damage? What do you mean it guarantees you 30 plus damage? Ragnaros is by definition random. You do get the Crash of Lightning, but... Jive Insect is the card, I think. It just costs so much. Like, how does it... How is it reliable? I would like a Lightning Reflexes. Of these options, I guess I take Lightning Bolt, and then I'll go face. Overloaded next turn, that's fine. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Much appreciated. Your chances of getting a nature spell is 3 and 16, or 4 and 16 if you count Lightning Reflexes. 3 out of 15 from Lightning Reflexes are damage spells. That's fair. But it's just like, when I play against this deck, I feel like they hit it every time. Like, they always hit a lightning bolt, the crash of thunder, or the, uh, the pop-up book. I'm also fine with Ambitious Elixir, because it heals me for one and can also generate me another spell. I'm fine with Flash of Lightning as well. Uh, my hand is very full. My hand is very full. So full that I think it might be worth it to just play the snake oil. Because that'll replace itself. We'll play this to draw a new card. And then I guess I just play the snake oil. I hate doing that, but I don't want to overdraw and lose something more important. So I'm doing that. Cactus Cutter's cool. I might coin out, um, Pack the House on 6. 
then play Flash of Lightning on seven, and then try to pop off on turn eight. But right now I only have one spell damage card and they're gaining a decent amount of armor to be honest. But the question is, what do I do next turn then? Because I don't want to overdraw. Sure. Flash of Lightning, again, I still don't really want to play that. Because I don't have spell damage in my hand. Let's see what we get. We got a Lightning Bolt, which is pretty good. We're still trying to thin my deck out a little bit. I think I have to play this because all the other cards in my hand are too good to pass up. I think I have to dump this. Which ultimately means I'm passing up on like two extra damage long term, but I think it's worth it. And then I, I don't think I need to play Flash of Lightning. I'll play it at the following turn. My hand is just too full. Maybe I'm just not managing my hand size properly. Maybe that's one of my big issues. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like how to improve with this deck as I go, but if I don't find... Ooh, okay, so we have to win the game in like two turns or we are fucked. We are absolutely forked, my friends. Decent tempo, though. We do get a rush minion, which can then trade into this. Like, that's not bad. Wait. Oh, I thought this had rush, too. Bit of an oops. But we can play this plus this plus this next turn and then pop off the following turn. On turn eight, unless they play Reno. In which case... Uh, we're going to be in a bit of a pickle. Ah! No, he's gonna die. Oh, fuck me. I lost a spell damage unit. Wait, that's really bad. Then brawl. Sanitize, yikes. Okay, we got two two twos left. We got another spell damage, which is fine. We'll discover a card from my deck. I want a flash of lightning. Thank you very much. I'll play one, because I really only need one. And my assumption is they'll play Reno next turn. So I'm doing this to bait out Reno because he doesn't want me to pop off next turn. And then I don't pop off next turn. And then the turn after that, I pop off because I want him to play Reno now. If he doesn't play Reno now, there's a world where I can actually still just win the game immediately. And I mean, if that's if that happens, great. No Reno is good. Sure. Play the coin. No, I can't play the coin because I need to play the coin with the other card next turn on turn seven. Sanitize was pretty good though. Forge into Bellowing Flames kills everything. Oh, you got Bellowing Flames is crazy, dude. Could just be flash of lightning i think it is maybe just a flash of lightning to try to set up next turn because this hand is pretty bad um, hmm it is a nature spell summons me a multitude of minions it's fine i guess like it's not bad i've countered myself the two four has countered me no Okay, I didn't think about it, but that card's really- Oh, thank God he played Reno. Oh, thank goodness you played Reno. You have saved me. You have saved me. I was supposed to lose. <laughs> goodness gracious. I'm hoping I find Fizzle, maybe? Lightning reflexes again. I think it is just this. And then we pass and we try to pop off again next turn. We'll be out of Lightning Reflexes, so it's got to work. Overdraft? I will trade that. I don't really want that right now. Mmm. -hmm. Photographer Fizzle's huge here, actually. Okay. Very happy about that. Okay, so the goal is we pop off next turn. We've baited out the Reno. Admittedly, he misplayed after I misplayed. That was almost really bad. I didn't even, I, oh my gosh. Okay, so lesson learned, never going to take the 
card that summons a three drop of all those things ever again, because that was a disaster. If he plays another dirt, oh God. Sure, okay, we, we hard commit this turn, I think. We already played Fizzle, so I don't think there's a reason not to hard commit. Technically, I probably should have done this first. Crash of Lightning's huge, though. Lightning, Lightning, boom. Actually, I technically should have discovered a spell first off of this. But we'll uh, do this next so we can get a new card. Uh, your damage uh, on the bright side, so maybe we can make you work, possibly. Give me something. Ooh, wait a minute. You're actually very good. If this is spell damage, I'm going to lose my mind. Fuck me. I'm an idiot. Oh, I forgot the spell damage totem exists. It's fine. I think I actually still win the game genuinely. I cannot believe how badly I messed that up. Oh my god, if I'm off by like one damage, I deserve to lose. You know what? You know what? I deserve to lose. I deserve to lose! I deserve to lose! Oh, I won. Never mind, I don't deserve to lose. Um, could be a fizzle. We do get to draw multiple cards, which could set up a very good hand for a fizzle. That being said, I think I'd rather have an actual just combo hand. I feel like Fizzle's a very greedy card. But we'll see. So turn one, depending on what they do, I could just coin out the Needle Rock Totem. Hmm, he does get to kill off whatever. Okay, we just play Miracle Salesman turn one, and we can trade and we can play this on two, this on three. Um, and just go on our merry way. You're gonna double trade? Interesting. They develop nothing for turn two. Which actually makes this such a good play for me, in my opinion. We're just able to play this for free. Go for the combo again with Fizzle? No, yeah, in some matchups, I think Fizzle is very, very good. Um, like, against a warrior, I do actually think that having Fizzle can be very, very important. Mostly because they're gonna have so much armor, you're gonna need to combo them potentially twice. But in that, yeah. but in this matchup, I don't think that's the case. Also, we're actually gonna play the pop-up book. You're probably wondering why, but it's to protect the two needle rock totems. It seems weird, but if for some reason he can't kill these, this is actually very, very good. If for some reason he cannot kill both of the zero ones and then hit my totems, it looks like he's not able to unless he gets like rock here. If he gets the rock, I'd be sad. Okay, that could still give him something to kill one of the totems, but if one of the totems lives, I'm perfectly fine losing a damage spell because this one's able to live, which is great. It's fantastic even. Draw a card. That'll overdraw me. Draw another card and then probably just play snake oil so I don't overdraw. I'd rather lose snake oil than the coin, which is weird. Actually, hold on. Coin, pop up book, kill this. Keep more things on the board again. Snake oil is potentially damage as well. I'm actually gonna do that. Again, protect the needle rock totem. And this gets his uh, his little taunt thing, which is also pretty good. I, I I don't mind that. I don't know if I'm overplaying here, but I do still have two lightning bolts. I have a lightning reflexes. I've got two amphibious elixirs to discover more stuff. Does this say discover or get? You do get this. Oh. Fair enough, though. Them healing doesn't really matter, though. I get to draw more cards. Okay, do we get we get two elixirs? Uh, if you wouldn't mind giving me a flash of lightning, but do I even want to play flash of lightning this turn? Oh shoot! Wait, I'm gonna overdraw. I have to play you. I have to actually play this card, or I'll overdraw. I can play this in a little bit. Um, 
Until then, I guess we just go Miracle Salesman and we can... Well, we can do this and see what we get. And then we can just go Miracle. Ah! That card's useless. Let's see if we get anything off of this and then we'll just play that for zero. Go with the flash. Give me Flash. Okay, cool. So Flash of Lightning does open up the possibility to win the game in a turn or two. It at least gives me the combo. We got a second one, which is very nice. This at least opens up a lot of opportunities. God, this deck is so frustrating and hard to play, but I love it. It's so, it makes me think, you know? You used up all the lightning reflexes luck in the last game. What are you talking about? No, look, last stream, I had the worst possible luck ever, okay? So, last game just, like, balances it out, and now I'm at even again. Now the universe is at balance, and things should go the way that we want it to go. <laughs> but before that, my goodness, it sucked. <sighs> my main issue is I just feel like my hand is too big. Like, I don't fully know how to deal with this my hand is completely full well it's not but it'll be next turn which means i can't really play you but also playing you bad is bad because my hand is still full oh oh no that's so good for them oh goodness gracious oh that's so bad okay don't overdraw me like a big spell like lightning Thalnos sucks, but, like, I'll deal with it, I guess. Dude, I have, like, no damage, actually. It's nuts. I still can't kill that off, which is a bit unfortunate. Do I ever just hit here, go Crash of Thunder, and then hit face, and then set up in, like, a turn or two? Double time! I just don't think I have the damage to commit. I don't have lightning bolts in my hand. And I used both of my pop-up books, which I'm now thinking was kind of bad. I mean, I'm still limit testing with this deck. I'm still trying to figure out how much damage I actually need to win. But I would like Fizzle, I guess, actually. I don't know. We have a lightning bolt, which does make this whole situation a little bit better. I could just go double Flash of Lightning. I don't know. If Flash of Lightning had attacks not less than one, this deck would be dead. Absolutely, 100%, yes. We got a Cobalt Geomancer. I think we're just gonna go all in next turn. <laughs> I think we are just hard committing. Because I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do. I guess I can go fizzle, but... I think I messed up. I shouldn't have used the second pop-up book. If I had one less... No, I shouldn't have gone double... I should have... Oh boy. So, I played two of them to try to find something that I could play. Most likely being like Overdraft or a Flow Rider or the weapon to empty out some hand space. I mean, I could still top deck something good here, I guess. So it's not the end of the world, but it's not good. But I did kind of need to commit because like, okay, we got a second lightning reflexes. That should just be game then. You're not bad, you'll be one mana and you are some damage, I guess. So let's play you into you just so we can discover a new spell. Conductivity is not great. Lightning storm is at least somewhat playable. Actually, conductivity means I could discover up to three spells actually, hold on. Flash of Lightning again is fine. Uh, I might overdraw, so I have to do that. Oh, shit. We got a Lightning Bolt, which is pretty good. Um, how much damage is this? Boop, boop. 
Actually, we still have you. Uh, we discover multiple spells, right? Okay, it doesn't really matter. We are basically just looking for a damage spell. Please, thank you. Thank goodness, dude. Okay. I think I played well, but I'm not sure. I think this deck is still very good. Do I ever keep the weapon and just play it to empty out space in my hand? The answer is no. What? Then again, what what would I want to kill with the weapon? What one mana card does he have? I guess mining casualties. It could be nice to get rid of one or two of the little things. And it's not like I have a lot of other one drops. Hmm, okay. So we've got the spell damage. The question is, can we draw the good cards? Uh, so that way we can utilize the spell damage. I feel like I'm okay playing Thalnos with this on turn three, just to push some damage because he does draw me a card. And I think in this particular situation, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? Dick? <laughs> Now, do I hit with Thalnos, or do I hit with this? I'll just trade this. I'll hit with Thalnos. It's fine. Well, if I keep Thalnos alive, it might force him to hit it. No, I, I need to draw cards more than anything. I've already gotten the damage out of this. It's fine. That was unexpected, to say the least. I did not expect that at all. Dirty Rat turn two is kind of nuts. Got some cards. We got a Flow Rider, which is not bad. We've already got a Flash of Lightning. Let's see if we can find a... Gonna say Lightning Reflexes. I guess another Flash of Lightning's okay. It means we can play the first one to try to bait out... Um. What's it called? We can play the first one to try to bait out. I'll hit this again. And then I'll try to kill it off next turn. We can use it to try to bait out a Speaker Stomper if they seem to be running it. You have earned an eternity. This Shaman deck is broken. I kind of agree. Okay. Sure. As long as it's not Frost, I feel like I'm fine with it. Nine. All right. Flow Rider, pretty good card. Do we get the Lightning Reflexes this time? Yes, we do. Double time. Hit this. Pass? Double time. I can coin out Lightning reflexes. Do I want to do that? The answer is not really no. Actually, don't. Pass. I don't think I'm in like that much trouble right now. That deck is good. Pull out Gilgamesh. You're a bitch, man. I know that the coin was already the card that got reduced in cost, but I'm doing this to draw three overload cards. I don't care if I overdraw, I get two lightning bolts. I can potentially threaten lethal next turn because I still have um, two spell damage cards in my hand. He's already played both dirty rats and this way I could potentially overdraw plague, which could be big. Uh... All right, I still don't think I'm dead next turn. Not an important card to be honest, so let's just go Flash of Lightning. Uh oof, do I wanna play this? Just don't be frost Blake. Four, six, seven, eight. 
Blood Plague is annoying, but fine. I'm okay with that, honestly. That's pretty good. And then we'll heal up, which is also very good. And again, we don't care if we overdraw. Conductivity is not great. None of these cards are actually good. None of these cards are very good at all. I'm just trying to figure out which one's the most playable. I guess Hex is the most playable. You could get rid of a big minion if he summons it. We should be able to at least wipe One this board. And then... Hopefully not die. Next turn. And or draw like a whole bunch of plagues. I don't know. It's a bit of a pickle for sure, but we'll see. He draws three cards. Okay. Overdraw plague, please. That was lethal, by the way. Uh, should I have committed? The answer is no, I should not have hard committed right there, by the way. That was, that was a little bit silly. It's a little bit of a misplay. That was a bit, just a, just a smidge of a misplay. Just a tiny one. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny one. Just, just a minor misplay. But I guess it doesn't end up mattering because this deck is still broken. But what you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to hard commit your spell damage cards until you've seen what you get from the first lightning reflexes so you know if you need to commit. Or if you just hold back and play Flash of Lightning to set up for the next turn. To be fair, this game was already like, I either won this turn or I died. So I guess it made sense to commit, but it, I, it was a slight misplay.